Hello everybody and welcome back to Vlada's Place. This is going to be one of my favorite and our sweetest episodes ever. Bees are like an ultimate pet. Once you learn what bees need, they basically take care of themselves. And my goal through this episode is to show you and encourage you to consider having bees as well. So they make a good pets, they're good for the nature, and they give, give us sweet honey, pollen, and propolis, royal jelly, and so many other wonderful things that are good and healthy for us. These cookies were baked uh, for centuries, and they're very simple, but the ingredients that go into these cookies are wholesome and very good. And this is a kind of cookie that's actually good for you. Main ingredients are honey and olive oil. Also, we are adding some nuts. This is the last year I'm purchasing honey from a local beekeeper because now I have my own bees. In any case, this is a buckweed honey. Here comes a cup of uh, extra virgin cold pressed olive oil. Now we're just gonna blend and mix honey and olive oil. This might take a little time, but eventually, they will create a nice thick paste to which we will add egg yolks. These cookies evoke so many wonderful memories from my childhood. Um, I still remember my grandmother making them and uh, the anticipation of waiting for these cookies to be done. Now, kids love cookies, period. And there are few cookies in the world that you would say are not good. I mean, there's no such a thing almost, right? Uh, now, Making cookies out of honey, there's something special about that because they smell like no other cookie in the world. So um, while I'm making these cookies, um, this recipe is definitely taking me back home. Speed up this process, you can use hand mixer. It will be much quicker. But since I'm making old fashioned cookies, I want to do everything the old fashioned way. You can see how nicely uh, this is already shaping up. So the next thing are eggs. We're gonna go with six egg yolks. Let's add a cup of nuts, and this is for your preference. Walnuts, almonds, pecans, whatever you like the best. Anything goes. All right, so, so far we have um, honey, olive oil, egg yolks, and nuts inside. So for the rest of the recipe, you can go basically as simple as vanilla and flour, a little bit of baking soda and baking powder and be done. But I like to add a little bit more personality, if you will, to these cookies. So I'm gonna use just a touch of cloves, a little bit of uh, uh, birch salt, and a touch of ginger as well as a little bit of nutmeg. I'm also going with vanilla, and to wrap up all these flavors together, I'm gonna use some fresh lemon zest and lemon juice. You can use as much as lemon as you like, and lemon zest, so our lemons are not quite yet in season, and as you can see, part of it's still green, but um, they are very fragrant. So, okay, we used the lemon uh, zest. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, lemon juice. A teaspoon of baking soda and a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Now, when it comes to the rest of the, uh, rest of the spices, you can go per your taste. So I'm just gonna put that up in a handful of the birch salt, very little of cloves, because I don't want clove flavor to take over the smell of honey. Just a little bit of nutmeg. And also a good pinch of, uh, this is ginger, ginger, uh, ginger powder or grounded ginger. And then we're gonna combine it all together. And all that's left to do is to add flour. 
Let's not forget vanilla, and we are going with a tablespoon of real vanilla. It smells so incredibly good. When it comes to flour, we will gradually add cup by cup until we reach the right consistency. This is turning out to be just as I uh, remember with my grandmother. <laughs> it smells heavenly. All together, we are using three and a half cups of flour. Now that we have enough flour inside, I'm gonna let the dough rest and we are gonna go outside to see what's going on with our bees. I'm starting a series on beekeeping. And like most of you who have never done this, I too am starting from scratch. My goal and the mission of this channel is to share the knowledge about the simple life skills like gardening, cooking, beekeeping, raising animals on our own, and basically reconnecting with nature. They're really gentle. They're so cool. <laughs> Take a picture of that. Each the one of us should become a food producer, and we should not allow bee corporations to feed us. Instead, we should start really learning and reclaiming these important life skills. And even more importantly, we should pass these skills onto new generations. Food should come from nature and nature only, not from factories and not from laboratories. Maintaining a healthy food chain balance is important for the environment, for Earth, and for our well being. Having abundance of organically grown, local, healthy wow. and fresh food is important on so many levels. Oh and the beautiful thing is that we don't have to rely on government or on big corporations to provide that for us. We all have the ability to become a food growers and producers, even if you have to start in a small pot. There is so much land around us, and humanity should not face a famine, at least there is a natural disaster. So with that said, uh, my goal is to encourage you to start growing and producing food in your neighborhoods, and through this process, hopefully, experience another big benefit, which is reconnecting with your community and hopefully reconnecting with your family, because this is a perfect project to do with your kids. All right, so where were we? I kind of get carried away when I start talking about stuff okay, like that. Ready to bake our cookies. So what I was just doing here is getting a little flour on one of these ice cream scoopers. And then I'm just going to fill it up with the dough. Okay. There it goes. And I'm going to do the same thing in between each scoop. Okay, so you know the rest. So I'll line them up on a baking sheet and then we're gonna bake them on 350 for about 12 minutes or until they are golden brown on top. Thank you very much for spending time with me. I hope that you enjoyed our sweetest episode yet. And I hope that you liked uh, our little adventure with the beekeeping and um, we would love love to hear from you so um to leave your comments you can go on our instagram page under blada seeds of life or you can find us on facebook under blada seeds of life thank you guys so much for watching my name is blada Vladik, and i am the founder of a charitable organization called blada seeds of life our mission is to help reconnect families and communities in america and one way we do this is through teaching families how to cook and how to garden and how to spend more quality family time at home as and more quality family time at their dining table. We would love to hear from you. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you soon with our next episode. By the way, um, I just wanted to add that I thought that these old fashioned cookies deserved a beautiful old-fashioned presentation. This little treasure was picked up at the local thrift shop. The finest linen and beautiful handwork was a perfect pairing for a presentation for our cookies. 
Thank you so much for watching and for spending time with me. If you like these videos, please send us your thumbs up so that we can share these recipes with the rest of the viewers. Also, if you like what we're doing, consider subscribing because we have different videos on so many different topics. My goal is to provide you with the positive and encouraging content that will help you live healthier, closer to nature, and better connected with your family and community.